to bring things to market. So ever since like 2004, when Black Eyed Peas launched iTunes, it was just a hypnotizing thing where I wanted to meet more people in that in, the, in this field. Um, and in 2006, five or six, I told Jimmy Iving that we should start hardware. We should be in the hardware industry. And we didn't know exactly what it was in 2005, but we knew that we wanted to make hardware. Um, and then shortly after that, we started Beats. Um, and right alongside that, I was developing my own stuff. Um, I put a team together of 40, 40 uh, coders and developers out of Singapore and Bangalore, and now we're about to launch my device. Um, it's a pretty cool device. Um, I don't want to say too much about it because there's phones in the air and it's going to be on YouTube or something. <laughs> what is YouTube? Huh? What is YouTube? What, what? What's YouTube? Oh yeah, well, YouTube's this place where everybody's... <laughs> Yeah, so I, I just I just really want to uh, meet folks. Um, uh, a, a musician or someone in my field doing sophisticated hardware like this that doesn't need sophisticated hardware like that for it to work. Sometimes people will look at me like, really? I don't believe you. But I invested all my money, not all my money, but I put in the, put in the majority of the money for this. Um, and then we went out and raised um, an A round to go to market. So it, it took all my money to do this. And we, we launched um, in September. Um, we, um, we're doing a lot of the testing now in June, all the, all the testing, you know, seating around the, uh, our little, little circle of folks happens now. You know, working out the kinks, working out the bugs, um, but for me to just put out a device isn't enough. I want to put out an ecosystem. I want to put out a community where developers are developing on. So we created our own OS. Um, and the way we want to treat developers is, is different from how it is now. So, for example, as a content maker, I can't, I can't get data from the people that bought my music for me to route my tour. There's certain things I just, I don't have access to as a content provider on certain platforms. So we, we want to rethink everything, how we give data back to people and developers. So I really want to create a whole, a, a different type of ecosystem for creators where cross-disciplinary you know, collaborations are happening, where coders and musicians collaborate to bring things to market because right now what it looks like is coders and developers are over there and musicians or celebrity is over here and it, you guys make something and then you say hey we need some promotion let's go get that guy <laughs> instead of doing things together because the, you can do some crazy disruptive things together um, and that was the premise what we were doing in our little cave in a, a couple of months well, now it's been two years, it seems like a couple of months ago. Um, and along every step of the way, the product got better and better at ideas of uh, how to rethink stuff. So without, be, without being, being very vague here, so because the cameras are here, it sounds like I'm not really talking about anything, but I'm doing that on purpose. <laughs> I don't want to, uh, I want to respect our some of the shit that we're going to announce. <laughs> this is not an announcement. This is more of a, you know, a opening uh, a conversation so we can collaborate. Um, so we put together a development fund for for uh, for guys to develop on the platform. Um, once again, thinking thinking about it differently. Um, um, and the excitement is to really, really come together and and change how, what you wear, and, how, and the things that you do on it. Because most of the wearables wasn't designed by people who make stuff you wear. And the only thing you actually wear, I think that's the reason why Beats is awesome. The only thing 
you people chose to wear were Beats headphones. In popular culture, they aren't wearing other smartwatches because just they didn't figure it out right. You have to wear something that you that tethers to something. It really makes no sense, really. So we, 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 we're coming at it from a totally different perspective. So we don't see this as a watch. It's just on my wrist, but it's not a watch. It's more watching me than I'm watching it. So it's aware. So um, later, 